Hey everyone, here in front of us, I'd like to do a review of a setting from James Allen. This is their Falling Edge Pave Diamond Engagement Ring. This is a really, really well executed setting and I wanted to make a video to show you all a very close up shot of all the particular little details of the setting just in case you're considering it for your engagement ring and I want to talk about some of the things that I really really like about it. The only downside to the setting is that it, it is quite expensive. It's $2,040. So compared to some of their other settings on their website, this is definitely on the higher end side. However, that $2,000 I think goes a really long way and completely transforms the image of an engagement ring being paired with a one carat diamond. So the ring that you're seeing here, I will have a link to the exact page on James Allen. If you want to reference the exact product page for the ring that you're seeing right now on the video, I will have a link down in the video description and you can view the reviews on there as well and see a bunch more images with different diamond sizes. But the ring that we're looking at here is paired with a one carat lab diamond. And the reason I built this ring this way was to show that you can buy a premium setting that costs two thousand dollars but you can also pair it with a rather inexpensive lab diamond and get a ring that looks very very expensive now if this ring was made with a natural diamond this would be an eight to ten eleven thousand dollar ring depending on how good of a natural diamond you got that was one carat but with a lab diamond, you can cut that cost down to like less than $4,000. And this is a perfect example. So this ring, and I'll put a breakdown of the price up on the screen, $2,040 for the setting, $2,080 for the one carat lab diamond. And then we have the tax, but then we got a $510 discount because we had the 25% off um, promo going on. And that only applies to the setting. Those discounts do not apply to the diamond, only the setting. So grand total, $3,889. This is a fantastic ring looking ring for less than 4,000, a very expensive looking ring. So if you decide to go the lab diamond route, you can definitely save some money, but just be sure to check in with your significant other to make sure that they're open to the idea of a lab diamond. Some people really love natural diamonds and that's great. If they do, you're going to have to spend a little bit more money or you're going to have to sacrifice the size of the diamond if you want to go the natural route. So if you were to get this ring in a natural, like I said, somewhere between eight and $11,000, I think would be uh, a very, uh, accurate range to get a diamond that looks similar to this. Now let's talk about some of the specifics in the setting real quick that I really like. One of the things that's so well executed in this setting is all of the smaller diamonds in the halo around the main diamond. Now, one of the things I always look for in a halo engagement setting is the hardware that holds the smaller diamonds around the main center stone. One of the things that this, this setting does so well is that the hardware that's holding all of those small diamonds is almost invisible. You cannot see it. So you see more diamond and you see very little prongs holding the diamonds in place. And this is incredibly important because I think this really changes the aesthetic of a halo ring. And the more incognito all those little hardware pieces are, the better the ring looks. And I think this specific setting does a really good job at showing the diamond faces and not showing a lot of hardware. And I think that's why this setting looks so good. So if you see in this macro shot, you can see all the particular little details of the smaller diamonds. And what this does is at a distance, and I'll show you this on my fiance's hand, at a distance, this ring has a very big profile and those smaller diamonds blend in with the main center stone. So at a distance, this one carat ring has the profile of a one and a half to a two carat. And it looks really, really nice. Then when you pull it up close, and I'll go ahead and switch the shot to a closer image here, you can see all the little particular details of the smaller diamonds, and they're presented in a way that they actually look really, really nice. You're not seeing a ton of different hardware, and it doesn't get really complicated as you pull that ring forward. So in terms of a falling edge halo engagement ring, I think this one is designed perfectly and is a very, very nice setting that creates a very custom look. Now you also couple that with the pave band going around the finger, and you have a very bold looking ring. The light performance on this ring is phenomenal. And you can see that from the video here, really, really nice. 
and it's going to be a very bold ring that a lot of people are going to notice on your finger no matter what lighting conditions you're in you're going to be catching sparks of light and people are going to see that ring sparkling so i'm curious to hear what you think about this engagement ring be sure to drop a comment below if this video helped you out all that we ask is smash that like button so we can make more videos like this in the future be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. And we have a ton of other setting reviews and diamond videos on our channel from James Allen. So if you want to check them out, be sure to check out our channel page. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.